Ancient Egypt would stop up to Lake Victoria. Now, this area where you have the, you know, you are, you are Bunyoro and your, our Kabarega and Buganda and whatever was Egypt Imperial. The original Bunyoro Kitara Empire, Niyale Maga, current day Toro, current day Ankole, current day Buganda, and it extended as far as northern Tanzania, uh, Kavirondo in Kenya, and Mutano Gua West, Guabaga Ituri Forest. I'm but with a very heavy uh, background from Bunyoro Chitara, we have a Vito clan. Most of the Abitos of Kasese, they owe allegiance to the one in Congo. We have a lot of similarities with uh, the Kikuyu of Kenya and uh, the Bama Sava of Uganda. We are affiliated to the Luya nation. But Simbi was the founder of uh, the kingdom which came to be east of Nile, came from Bunyoro. So now from Simbi, one of the descendants is the one who started the Wanga. He was called Wanga. Big powers developed to the west of Busoga, and particularly Bunyoro and Buganda. Yes, the wars were for economic uh, gain, largely. We entered the West Nile differently. The first group who arrived here were Madi. One was my great-grandfather called Ladu, and one was Ulum, the grandfather of the Luo-speaking people. The father to Gipiri and Labong, who produced the Choli and the Alur and the Jonam. We are believed to belong to uh, the Ibo in Nigeria. The rulers of Bunyoro are actually Luos. We have now the pet names in Bunyoro, Toro, Kalicha. And pet names start with vowels. Aboli, Amoti, Akiki, Adieri. Basically, these are Luo words. In actually is Paco. The word Paco means praise. Language in Bunyoro, Bunyoro in our tradition is Kidi, the land of Lakidi, who was the chief, also known as Labong. And when they came, they all clustered themselves in the Kotido. When Lango people reached Karamoja, then there was that separation where the the, the Karamojong remained there, the, the, the Itesots proceeded, the Kumam, those are Lango people. And for us, who really honed the name of Lango, we came to the center of Uganda. We should now be proud that Uganda is better united now than it was 10 years ago. That should be our pride. Then, Chief of which will sleep in peace. Mwanga will sleep in peace. So will Kabulega sleep in peace, because that's what they struggle for. So I think the starting point is for each community to be proud of their history.